Justin Shearer, better known as Big Chief, is a force to be reckoned with in the world of street racing. His meteoric rise on the hit show Street Outlaws solidified his place as a skilled driver, a cunning strategist, and a fan favorite. Behind the wheel of his iconic Pontiac GTO, The Crow, Big Chief consistently dominates the competition. I've never seen a car on the street go nose over a No. I've never seen anything. Yet, Big Chief's personal life remains shrouded in secrecy. Fans are left to glean insights through fleeting moments on the show or carefully curated social media posts. Big Chief embodies the ultimate enigma who plays his cards close to the chest. In today's video, we will be revealing all the secrets behind the racing rock star. Let's begin. From street racer to reality star, Big Chief's rise to fame. Justin Shearer, the man who would become synonymous with street racing as Big Chief, didn't start out seeking the spotlight. Instead, a deep-seated love for cars ignited his passion at a young age. Growing up in Oklahoma City, he was immersed in a world where street racing wasn't just a hobby, it was a way of life. Night after night, the city's roads transformed into battlegrounds where speed and skill determined the hierarchy. In this competitive environment, Big Chief honed his driving talents and built a reputation behind the wheel of his now legendary Pontiac GTO, the Crow. The car, initially a salvaged shell, underwent a painstaking transformation, emerging as an emblem of Big Chief's mechanical ingenuity and relentless ambition. With each fine-tuned component and each victory on the streets, the Crow and its driver became formidable figures within the Oklahoma racing community. A production team interested in the raw, authentic appeal of street racing became aware of Big Chief's dominance as word of its spread. This serendipitous encounter sparked the idea for a show that would catapult Big Chief and the Oklahoma City scene into the national consciousness, Street Outlaws. Big Chief's natural charisma and unwavering determination made him the ideal centerpiece for the show. He embodied the spirit of street racing, gritty, competitive, and fueled by a desire to push the limits. More than just a participant, Big Chief became a driving force in shaping the show's narrative. He actively recruited fellow racers and helped establish the now iconic 405 list, a ranking of Oklahoma City's fastest streetcars. With its blend of high-octane action, colorful personalities, and the high-stakes drama of real-world competition, street outlaws exploded in popularity. Big Chief's fame soared, transforming him from a respected local racer into a household name. He wasn't just a contestant, he was an ambassador, introducing audiences across the country to the thrilling and sometimes dangerous world of street racing. Yet even as his celebrity status grew, Big Chief remained true to his roots. The streets where he first earned respect continued to be his proving ground. Street Outlaws offered Big Chief a platform to showcase his driving prowess, his mechanical genius, and his unwavering dedication to the sport he loved. It cemented his legacy as a street racing icon and fueled a career that continues to evolve and excite. While his journey from street racer to reality star might have been unexpected, it's undeniable that Big Chief's unwavering passion and relentless ambition paved the way for his extraordinary success the divorce that shocked fans. For years, Big Chief and his wife, Alicia, presented a united front on street outlaws. Their relationship became a symbol of stability amidst the high adrenaline world of street racing. Their marriage seemed to thrive under the spotlight. They supported each other's passions and raised two sons together. Fans admired their apparent dedication, seeing them as an example of how love and ambition could coexist even within the demanding world of reality television. However, the carefully crafted image of a happy, enduring partnership began to crack, revealing a secret that left fans reeling. Behind the scenes, Big Chief and Alicia's marriage was faltering. The reasons remained shrouded in privacy, but the news of their separation sent shockwaves through the street outlaws community. 
the announcement shattered one of the show's most enduring storylines. Big Chief, the indomitable racer and fiercely protective family man, was suddenly facing a personal crisis that threatened to overshadow his on-track persona. The contrast between his public life and this unexpected private upheaval fueled speculation and gossip. Rumors swirled about the cause of the divorce. Infidelity accusations surfaced, with fans and tabloids alike scrambling to piece together clues about what might have led to the couple's split. The lack of concrete information only intensified the public's fascination. At the same time, news of Big Chief's new relationship with fellow racer Jackie Brash added another layer of complexity. Big Chief, known for his stoic demeanor and guarded private life, faced a new kind of scrutiny. His carefully cultivated image as the grounded, reliable figurehead of the 405 was tested. Questions arose about how the emotional turmoil of his divorce and the introduction of a new partner might influence his racing performance and leadership role on Street Outlaws. Would he be able to maintain the same level of focus and drive? Would it impact his judgment or on-screen presence? The situation challenged Big Chief's ability to compartmentalize the different aspects of his life. It became clear that even the most successful reality stars couldn't fully shield their personal struggles from the public eye. The events added a layer of vulnerability to his usually unshakable persona, forcing viewers to see him as a multifaceted individual facing real-life complexities. While the circumstances remain largely a mystery, the impact on Big Chief's public image was undeniable. The events chipped away at the idealized portrait he built throughout his time on Street Outlaws. His journey through divorce and a new relationship revealed a more human side, often obscured by the flashy world of racing. Finding love again, the Jackie Brush connection. Jackie Brush, renowned as both a skilled racer and the romantic partner of street racing legend Big Chief, has captured the attention of fans and enthusiasts alike. As a major figure in the high-stakes world of street racing, Jackie's journey from a dedicated racer to a prominent public figure alongside Big Chief has been met with both admiration and controversy. Jackie's rise to prominence began long before her relationship with Big Chief garnered widespread attention. With a passion for speed and a talent for racing, she made her mark in the male-dominated world of street racing earning respect and admiration for her skill behind the wheel. Her partnership with Big Chief on the racing scene only served to further solidify her reputation as a force to be reckoned with. However, it was Jackie's romantic involvement with Big Chief that thrust her into the spotlight in a new way. Their relationship sparked intense interest among fans of the street racing community, with many eager to learn more about the dynamic between the two races. Yet, this newfound attention also brought its fair share of controversy, particularly concerning the timing of their relationship. The timing of Jackie and Big Chief's romance raised eyebrows within the street racing community as it came on the heels of Big Chief's highly publicized divorce. Some questioned the appropriateness of their relationship, citing concerns about the potential impact on Big Chief's personal and professional life. Despite these criticisms, Jackie and Big Chief remained steadfast in their commitment to each other, weathering the scrutiny of the public eye together. In the face of adversity, Jackie and Big Chief's bond has only strengthened over time. Their shared passion for racing serves as a foundation for their relationship, with each supporting the other both on and off the track. As they continue to navigate the ups and downs of life in the spotlight, Jackie and Big Chief have emerged as a formidable duo inspiring fans with their unwavering dedication to both each other and their craft. In the public eye, Jackie's presence alongside Big Chief has evolved from mere curiosity to genuine admiration. Fans have come to appreciate her as more than just Big Chief's girlfriend, recognizing her as a talented racer in her own right. Through their shared experiences on and off the track, Jackie and Big Chief have forged a bond that goes well beyond the confines of the racing world, proving that love knows no boundaries. Big Chief, entrepreneurial ventures beyond the cameras. Big Chief, a household name in the world of street racing, 
is not only known for his skills behind the wheel and his slightly controversial love life, but also for his entrepreneurial spirit and business ventures. From co-founding Midwest Street Cars to building a successful automotive brand, Big Chief has demonstrated his ability to turn his passion for racing into thriving business opportunities. The journey of Midwest Street Cars, co-founded by Big Chief, began as a way to bring together a community of street racers and enthusiasts. What started as a small-scale operation quickly grew into a powerhouse in the street racing scene, thanks in large part to Big Chief's vision and leadership. Through Midwest Street Cars, Big Chief not only provided a platform for fellow racers, but also created a hub for fans to engage with the sport they love. Big Chief's ability to leverage his platform as a street racing icon has played a significant role in the success of his automotive brand. With a loyal fan base and a keen understanding of the industry, Big Chief has been able to expand his business beyond the confines of the racetrack. From merchandise sales to sponsorships and partnerships, Big Chief has strategically positioned himself and his brand as a dominant force in the automotive world. At the heart of Big Chief's success lie his unparalleled business acumen and drive. Despite facing numerous challenges along the way, including legal and personal setbacks, Big Chief has remained focused on his goals and unwavering in his pursuit of success. His ability to adapt to changing circumstances and capitalize on opportunities has been key to his continued growth and success in the industry. One of Big Chief's most notable qualities as an entrepreneur is his willingness to take risks and think outside the box. Whether it's experimenting with new racing techniques or exploring innovative business strategies, Big Chief is not afraid to push the boundaries and challenge the status quo. This fearless approach has not only propelled him to the top of the street racing world, but has also earned him respect and admiration as a savvy businessman. In addition to his business ventures, Big Chief's commitment to giving back to his community showcases his character and values. Through various charitable initiatives and outreach programs, Big Chief has used his platform to make a positive impact on the lives of others. Whether it's supporting local youth programs or raising awareness for important causes, Big Chief continues to use his influence for the greater good. With his unwavering drive, innovative thinking, and commitment to giving back, Big Chief continues to inspire fans and entrepreneurs alike, proving that with determination and vision, anything is possible. The crash that nearly took it all. Undoubtedly, Justin the Big Chief Shear is a legend in the world of street racing. His dominance on the Discovery Channel series Street Outlaws made him a household name and provided him with all kinds of life opportunities. But behind the wheel of his iconic Pontiac GTO, The Crow, Big Chief harbors the memory of a crash that nearly erased everything. It was a routine night, the thrill of competition, the roar of engines, the familiar scent of burning rubber. Then, a split-second error sent the crow careening out of control. The world blurred into a sickening ballet of twisted metal and shattering glass. When the dust settled, Big Chief lay trapped, his body mangled due to the violence of the impact. The news sent shockwaves through the racing community. Fans and rivals alike held their breath, awaiting updates on the condition of their beloved champion. The injuries were severe, broken bones, internal damage, and a concussion that left him dazed and disoriented. Doctors warned a full recovery might be impossible, and his racing career was almost certainly over. The road to recovery. But Big Chief wasn't built to quit. With unwavering determination, he embarked on a grueling rehabilitation journey. Physical therapists pushed him to his limits. His broken spirit faced its own battles as pain, frustration, and the fear of permanent disability became relentless companions. There were days when giving up seemed easier than pushing forward. Big Chief, however, overcame the odds with the support of his family and an unwavering determination to compete once more. One agonizing step at a time, he relearned to walk, to rebuild his shattered strength. Months turned into years, but miraculously, Big Chief emerged from the wreckage, forever changed 
but unbroken. The scars, both visible and hidden as a secret, were reminders of the crash and of how close he'd come to losing everything. Stepping back into the driver's seat was an act of both defiance and humility. Behind the bravado, a newfound respect coursed through Big Chief's veins. He was still enamored by the raw power and adrenaline rush, but his awareness of his own mortality had dimmed it. Big Chief's approach to racing underwent a subtle but profound transformation. The focus shifted from reckless abandon to calculated precision. He recognized that every race wasn't a death-defying feat, but a meticulously planned and executed strategy. Some might perceive this as a softening of his edge, but Big Chief understood it as a sign of maturity born from his near-death experience. The crash shifted his perspectives on life. Fame, titles, and the endless pursuit of victory suddenly took on a different hue. Family, friendships, and the simple act of another sunrise became the true measure of success. Big Chief, always a competitor, now faced a new challenge, finding the balance between the all-consuming world of street racing and the preciousness of everyday life. The evolving legacy of Big Chief. Justin Big Chief Shearer's journey from Oklahoma street racer to reality TV icon has been nothing short of extraordinary. As the driving force behind Discovery Channel's long-running hit street outlaws, he has transformed the underground world of street racing into a mainstream phenomenon. But for Big Chief, the checkered flag is far from the finish line. His legacy is constantly evolving, and he seeks to expand his influence both on and off the track. Big Chief remains a fixture on Street Outlaws, the show that catapulted him into stardom. His role has shifted over time, from street hustler clawing his way to the top of the list to mentor guiding fellow 405 racers. While some may see a lessening of his competitive edge, it could be argued that this reflects Big Chief's expanding leadership and strategic thinking. He remains a powerful player behind the scenes, using his experience to ensure the entire crew continues its dominance. The success of Street Outlaws has given rise to an array of spin-off series, and Big Chief's presence looms large across this franchise. Street Outlaws, fastest in America, sees him leading the 405 against top teams nationwide. Street Outlaws, No Prep Kings places him in an advisory capacity, lending his knowledge and expertise to racers navigating the treacherous territory of No Prep competition. These shows not only showcase Big Chief's versatility, but also solidify his standing as an authoritative voice in the street racing world. But Big Chief's impact on street racing culture doesn't end with his television appearances. He has become a symbol of grit, determination, and the relentless pursuit of automotive excellence. The Midwest street car shop he co-owns is a mecca for enthusiasts seeking high-performance builds. His willingness to pass on his knowledge through shows, public events, and social media has inspired a new generation of racers. The debate rages on about Big Chief's impact from a safety standpoint. Critics argue that Street Outlaws glamorizes illegal and dangerous activity. However, his supporters contend that he provides a platform for racers to compete in a more controlled environment. Big Chief himself has used his notoriety to advocate for safer racing initiatives. Where Big Chief goes next is a question on every fan's mind. With his entrepreneurial spirit and unwavering drive, his possibilities are seemingly endless. He has hinted at endeavors outside the world of television, including potential forays into the automotive parts and accessory market. A clothing line or lifestyle brand bearing his name would likely meet with massive success. Given his status within the community, establishing his own racing league or sanctioning body is also not out of the question. This would allow him to influence racing rules and structure with an emphasis on safety and a level playing field. No matter which avenues Big Chief chooses to pursue, his legacy as a pioneer of street racing is secure. He transformed a niche subculture into a global phenomenon, all while maintaining a down-to-earth persona that resonates with fans. What remains certain is that Justin Big Chief Shearer isn't slowing down anytime soon and the evolution of his journey is a spectacle to watch.
the private side of a public figure. The spotlight of fame burns brightly on Justin Big Chief Shearer. Through Street Outlaws, he opens his world to millions of viewers. His racing exploits, rivalries, and personal triumphs are broadcast for public consumption. Yet, like all reality TV stars, the Big Chief we see on screen is only one facet of a multifaceted man. Understanding the complexities of balancing a public persona with a deeply private life is crucial for both fans and those who grapple with the effects of notoriety. Fame is a double-edged sword. It brings adulation, but erodes privacy. Big Chief, no doubt, enjoys interacting with fans, reaping the rewards of his success and the opportunities that have come his way because of his status. However, the relentless scrutiny can be taxing. Paparazzi, social media buzz, and the insatiable appetite for gossip often create a whirlwind of speculation and judgment surrounding a public figure's personal life. Navigating relationships is particularly challenging. Big Chief has alluded to his family life, but rarely are they featured prominently on screen. This could be a conscious decision to shield his loved ones from the glare of publicity and maintain an oasis of normalcy amidst the chaos. Romantic relationships in the spotlight get picked apart endlessly. Even the most well-intentioned fans sometimes forget that their idols are humans with feelings, deserving of privacy, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Yet it's tempting to try to piece together Big Chief's life outside of racing, but glimpses on social media or snippets of interviews only offer a partial picture. Like most people, he cherishes quiet time with loved ones, harbors hobbies and interests beyond cars, and has worries and dreams unrelated to the racetrack. We may yearn to know these things, but it's important to respect his boundaries. The man behind the wheel is entitled to his own private sanctuary. The danger lies in conflating the reality TV persona with the real Justin Shearer. Street Outlaws needs high-stakes drama, intense rivalries, and larger-than-life personalities to keep viewers engaged. Big Chief undoubtedly plays to these expectations, curating a version of himself for entertainment purposes. That doesn't mean every outburst, every conflict, and every on-camera moment represents the entirety of who he is. Ultimately, it's vital to recognize that Big Chief, like anyone thrust into the limelight, makes choices regarding what aspects of his life he shares with the public. Healthy fandom doesn't mean obsessive speculation or entitlement to every detail of his private world. Instead, it entails appreciating his skills as a racer and entertainer and realizing that the persona he presents is a product of television. However, we hope that after learning all of this today, you can at least have a slightly better understanding of the legend of the racing world.